Yeah. Uh. Motherfucking hybrid. Uh. What's up, big bro? Chillin', man. What's good, big homie? No shake in the motherfucking building. Finally fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's 3 a.m. I'm hearing birds chirping. Still on my side on that block. We do some more sleeping or fucking with thoughts. I'm getting money, shit, fuck what you thought. I don't need energy tricks or no coffee. Yeah, I'm on that side with diesel, let's ride. If it ain't about money, then please don't call me. Let's get hot, I'm not leaving this spot. Everyone knows, no money, no show. I bust through my jacket, if jackets get bold. Hit you with heat, now your body froze. Then I relocate as I reload. I keep fresh the clips and the change of clothes. That's just in case, cause you never know. So. Just let me get me. My partner with that bitch, I call him Ike Turner. Watch me hit the block, then I turn up. You ain't got no money, then I turn you. Yeah. Bitch, I ain't not you to starve. I'm making that money, get bitches like magic. Stacking that brain, I never love these tricks. The way that that grind, fuck niggas can't stand it. Fuck up the small talk. We get shot with me, nigga. I see you doing your thing out there all around, you know what I'm saying? Putting that Carolina scene on and shit. That's what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to everybody that fuck with the No Shake films, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to everybody that done interviews. Shouts out to everybody who shared beauty, all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate that shit, man. I fucks with this nigga, you know what I'm saying? Salute, long way. Mm -hmm. Okay, man. We're gonna start this thing off, man. Where you from and how you get the name Hybrid, man? Shit, I, I, I don't know what planet I'm from. I was on some one of them planets. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, Hybrid, man. I'm from here in Columbia, South Carolina, man. You know what I mean? Um, I'm from Columbia, South Carolina, man. Uh, the name Hybrid, man. Back in the day when I first started rapping or whatever like that, you know, my homeboy uh, Woodrow came to the house with me and my nigga uh, Trent and then we started rapping and shit. At first I was calling myself like uh, Ryan because that's my name or whatever like that, you know, um, so <clears throat> I'll be rapping and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? And I was just like, I need, I need uh, something, you know, everybody got their name they had. And at the time it was like uh, 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 Lil Flip and... and, and you know, little this and little that and, and young this and young that. I, I was on some shit like I, I wanted to do something different that was, you know, that spoke to me. So I was in the rock music at the time too. So um, it was this album, uh, one of the albums, you know, one of my theme songs to my fucking teenage years, it was Linkin Park, Hybrid Theory. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's just, I, I just loved it front to back and I looked up the definition to the term, you know, to the word hybrid and um, it meant uh, two things forming to make one and I felt you know yeah that's me all day like you know what I'm saying I'm rock music I'm rap music I'm two different things coming together to form one it's me you know what I'm saying I'm just I'm a I'm a new breed you know what I'm saying a whole nother no other shit you know what I'm saying real shit okay okay man how long you been rapping man Woo. shit 2003 that's when I um first started uh you mean like seriously like or Soon you, soon you took it seriously, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 2003. Um, you know, I had started rapping, honestly, like, honestly, believe it or not, like 2002. And uh, 2003, I was boxing at the time, and uh, my nigga Carly Greens, he was out there doing the show and whatever, whatever. And uh, he came out there, whatever, and, um, you know, I was doing, I was, it was a battle, freestyle battle, and that's what I, you know, that's what I was known to do, you know what I'm saying, is, um, you know, battle niggas and, and Johnson, uh, only to say Johnson and shit, and that's what he's doing in court y'all all day, just like battle niggas and shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, shouts out to Sip, you know what I'm saying? You know what the fuck we talk about, shouts out to Trigger, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to Shante, you know, they know what the fuck we talk about. But anyway, um, yeah, we, you know, we used to battle there, and I had took it to this little, um, it was this little freestyle battle at this boxing gym I used to box at. I seen, I seen the chairs one day. They were saying that um, they was going to have some freestyle battles that night. I said, cool, uh, can I come back and check it out? So I stood there, I, I waited, checked it out. Tyler Greens came, seen me. I, be, I beat some niggas that was out there. He gave me his number. Then, like, the next day, we just started riding and started doing shows and shit like that. So, you know, that's how, that's how I, you know, I, I kind of got in there. Just thrown in the motherfucking board. I was, th I had my first fucking show before I even fucking seen a fucking studio. It was crazy. I used to just, like, freestyle on stage. It was stupid, man. That's how I got in the game, bro. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas, man. Okay, man. What kind of rapper you say? Are you a bar rapper, conscious rapper? You know? I, I wouldn't put nothing on that. Um, shit. I'm me, bro. I do the fuck I feel, bro. Like, real, I'm an artist, so, like, whatever a picture I feel like painting at the time, that's what I can do. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say, you, you know, I know I know that my, my style is mostly fast. You know what I'm saying, or uh, but I do slow it down too. I don't do that, you know, fast rap all the time because I know a lot of cats are like I can't understand that. Shit, you know what I'm saying. So um, 
You know what I mean? I just I'm, I just do what I feel, bro. Whatever whatever I'm feeling on the track, whatever I'm trying to do, that's what I do, bro. Word, word. What, do you think it's a difference between, like, whack or being different? You know what I'm saying? Do you think it's, like, a thin line between that? Um, I'm going to be honest with you, because I get asked this a lot. I always say there's no such thing as whack, you know, whack music or whatever, because everybody has their own audience. You know, not everybody, not everybody's going to like what you like. What I think is hard, you may not think is hard. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of, you know, artists that's out now that a lot of motherfuckers fuck with that I feel like, you know, I wouldn't fuck with all the time. I might listen to them when I'm working out and shit like that. Or, you know, when I'm just chilling with my niggas and we in the club and shit like that. But, like, somebody I'm trying to learn something from, I listen to different motherfuckers. And you may not listen to music how I listen to music. So it's really all on the audience and everything like that. You know, it's... That's why I say there's no whack music. You know what I'm saying? You you know, you can be different, you can do what you want to do. If you're gonna fart on the track and a thousand motherfuckers are gonna listen to them farts and each each track on the C D is a different sounding type of fart motherfucker and niggas and that shit can go platinum, then motherfucker then you doing good, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure motherfuckers fuck with it. And that's how you know if you whack or not. If motherfuckers ain't talk about you. As long as they can talk good about you, that's cool. They can talk bad about you, that's cool. But if they ain't talking about you, you probably need to do something else. Yeah. So um, let me ask you this, man. Being that you on your rap journey, man, what's the best part and the worst part you encountered, man? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Best part. Worst part. You mean like situations or like how? What you mean? Anything in general. Anything you you decide to feel like it's worse. Like, oh, hell. You mean like parts of the game or in my journey or, or, or in my life? Because I don't know where to go with this right now. Mm. Combination, man. Give me one one part in the game and one part got down your life. Fuck it. All right, fuck it, shit. I always have fun with this game. I always have fun learning, going through different things. It's an adventure to me, you know what I'm saying? And I get to challenge myself and I get to, you know what I'm saying, reinvent myself and I get, you know, I, it's... it's I love the rap game, you know what I'm saying? Um, there's a lot of snakes in the rap game, it, it is fucked up. Um, and a lot of motherfuckers that are use you, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know about, you know, my little situation with a certain little internet radio station, uh, what I went through with that bullshit. Um, you know, shit can be crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's, I think that was like my darkest times, like when I was, uh, believe it or not, when I was doing that, you know what I'm saying? Like that was, you know, with the, with the little radio station. That was like one of my little hardest, hardest times, you know what I'm saying? But um, other than that though, like shit, I have fun, man. Like right now everything's cool, you know, shit's good, niggas fucking with me, you know, shout out to BZ Baby, uh, shout out to the whole cool camp, you know what I'm saying? BJ Buck, King County, everybody, they fucking with me. I did a little Hot One Three Point Nine freestyle shit, you know, a while back, you know, they, you know, and that kind of helped me out or whatever like that. And um, you know what I'm saying? Rapathon TV, shout out to H Dub, you know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers, they fucking with me. You know what I'm saying, and um, you know I'm I, I just not started fucking with these niggas in Lincoln, so you know what I'm saying. Shout out DJ Cool James, uh, shout out Brooks. You know what I'm saying, Dat Five FM. You know what I'm saying, that's the internet radio station up there. And um, you know what I'm saying, I'm just I'm just going around doing different things, traveling, trying to expand, we're starting over. Um, I'm about to drop the album Sativa, and um, you know what I'm saying. We're gonna see how that do. You know, and um, that's you know I'm really proud of that album. That's one of my um, I feel like that's gonna be one of my best albums I ever drop, mixtapes, whatever the fuck you want to call them. I think I have a mixtape saying that I don't give a shit, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? I think that's going to be one of the best projects I can drop. So, yeah, everything looking up right now, bro. We just um, stacking money, getting ready to do it, staying hungry, you know what I'm saying, and not stopping for shit. You know what I'm saying? We're doing a damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, man. Here's another question I just thought about, man, while I'm here, man. What do you think about the radio man playing the same industry song all the time and, and the radio just playing local songs on the Sunday? I know they play them on a weekday, on a weekday, but do you think about it? They need to play more on a weekday. You know what I'm saying? Well, like I said, you know, shout out to um, Hot One Three Point Nine, Hundred Point One, to be you know, with Frosty and all of them. I fucked with all the name a lot. You know what I'm saying? And they're very vital part uh, to the music scene down here. Yes, I really do feel like they should play more local artists, but I also know there's more politics behind that. It's not all their fault. Um, it's, you know, uh, a lot of that has to do with the unity that, of, of, that we have, 
you know, we, we can sit here and holler about it at the end of the day, but we also are part of the problem um, with motherfuckers, you know, not supporting other motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? It's, this is Carolina culture, man. We need, to, we need to represent each other. We need to bring our culture to the world. You know, just like Atlanta brought their culture, LA brought their culture, New York brought their culture. We, it's our time to bring our culture to the world and make our stamp in hip hop. So, with that being said, yeah, I understand there's a lot of problems. You know, you can't blame all the personalities and everything you did because they're just one part of the puzzle or the pile, whatever you want to call it. Um, but, yeah, I really feel like they should play more. And the, the people that are in charge of that, like the program directors and shit like that, and the owners, you know what I'm saying, I think they should, you know, do more for the local scene because in turn, if the local artists are getting played, then the local artists can do shows, and then they can get paid, and the club owners can get paid, and in turn, it's opening up jobs within the city, and then we can go outside and, and you know, fuel the fire and do more like that, instead of paying somebody in town to do it and bigging up them, you know what I'm saying? So, instead of paying Young Jeezy, whatever, uh, 20 racks or 10 racks or whatever the fuck they do, you know what I'm saying, I'm pretty sure, you know, um, uh, little Mook Mook, I don't want to say anybody's name, Little Mook Mook, he'll take like, you know what I'm saying, a thousand dollars or whatever and fuck with you, you know what I'm saying, just off the strength because you fucking with them and, and you're up building their name. You just gotta look at it like that. I mean, that's just one way to look at it, you know what I mean? So, you know, just yes, but I understand. <laughs> yeah. Okay, man. What do you see South Carolina music seen in the next three to five years, man? Uh, in a perfect world, I wish this shit would be popping and it was going to be great and everything good. But right now, the thing is to move out the city because the city itself is fucked up and we can't deny that with all the bullshit that's going on, um, with all the changes in the city, with all the businesses going out and all this other shit, it's, it's fucking up. A lot of motherfuckers are moving out the city, so really, hopefully they can stop that shit. Shit will change back around and motherfuckers will come back to the city and, you know, these crackers will stop fucking shit up. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, the Carolina music scene can flourish once again like it was doing back in 2003, 2004 when I first started. You understand what I'm saying? You understand? It's a big difference right now. And um, it's only been going downhill since then. So, in the next three to five years or, or whatever, like, man, yo, I pray that this shit get better because I love my city. But I think everybody going to probably go somewhere and get on. But we still going to have that Carolina love, but it's just like Louisiana when Katrina hit. You know, motherfucker, we got to go somewhere. We got to... We got to, you know, we got to thug it, make it happen. Because around here, all we gonna do is just saturate ourselves and getting beef and all this. And when somebody do get big, you probably gonna wind up dead in jail, sticking around here with the bullshit, bro. Because it's nothing but fuck shit. He's probably gonna want to see us making it happen. So, um, shout out to my boy Fred G's, man. We 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 starting this new thing, man. Uh, and then my vi and all of my videos, man. We gonna have a thing called, man. Get off your chest, man. So, um, go ahead and get off your chest, bro. <laughs> You gonna say just go ahead and get off the chest. Go ahead and get off the chest, bro. Shit, man, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you show love to the next nigga. You know what I'm saying? Stop worrying about who don't show love to you. You know what I'm saying? Do your damn thing. I preach that in all my um, interviews. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, let's come together. Let's try to make something happen. We was at that Black Lives Matter march, and motherfuckers was trying to march for a change, right? Well, that shit just don't stop when the headlines stop. We gotta keep on doing our damn thing. We gotta keep on going. We gotta keep on trying to strive and get it. And how we gonna do that? We gotta support each other. That's how you know black lives really matter. It doesn't mean just when somebody get popped by the cops or some shit, or a motherfucker get fucked up or something like that, and or, or get you know whatever. It means that we need to stick together at all times, 24/7. Spend money with each other. You understand what I'm saying? I heard. What was it? I heard uh, uh, Damon Dash say some shit like Jews consider us liquid money. And that's because they know that we gonna sit out there and go and buy shit from other motherfuckers and we you know and steady supply their pockets instead of supplying our own because we and, and black money is just so fucking powerful. Black money is just so powerful and you know, it's we, we we spend a lot, you know, and it's a lot of us, you know what I'm saying? And they know that. You know, so you know we need to really spend it within our culture, do the damn thing, you know what I'm saying, and, and try to try to come up and make it, man. That's that's what we got to do, man. Holy shit. Throw them shout outs, bro. Shit, man. Shout out my nigga Mooney. Feel me or not. You know what I'm saying? You also shot that video uh, all about the money. Uh, you can check that on YouTube. Uh, produced by um, Carlito Still Banging and shit. That's off Sativa. The album coming up. 
Um, you know, shout out to No Shake Films, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all coming through, fucking with the niggas, smoking with the niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yo, shout out to my weed, man. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you, cuz. This shit right here good. Um, what else? Shit. Who else, man? You know what I'm saying? Shit. Shout out to everybody doing their thing. Shout out to my nigga Taylor Boy in the West. Uh, everybody in Casey doing their damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga Hero. Shout out to my nigga Chris Style. Lee Records, we here. Shout out to my nigga Mister. You know what I'm saying? Um, who else? Man, shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to DJ Prince Ice, DJ Twistum. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, shit. DJ Cool James, motherfucking, um, shit, man. Uh, DJ Frosty, uh, uh, Beezy, um, Puff, all y'all, Caddy, everybody. Everybody who fuck with me, I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Rapathon TV, I fuck with y'all. Shit. I don't know, man. So many motherfuckers, man. Shout out to Carolina. Carolina College, man. Shout out to the album Sativa. Make sure you get that motherfucking album Sativa. That shit. You need that shit, man. Real shit. Shit gonna change your motherfucking perspective on Carolina music. Real shit. You need that shit, man. Real talk. Am I rapping too fast for some of you simple rappers that fit in the building? I am the best around this bitch, point blank and period. And rappers don't fuck with me, cause they know how bad I be killing shit. I be spitting that venom on every truck and I get cause really got this love, feeling up all the competition. In my opinion, they know I'm just struggling with the fuck with my position, cause I smoke some precision. Nigga, these ain't punchlines, these devastating blows, and change the game and get.